Good morning, I'm Julia. Welcome to my garden. It is Wednesday the 26th of June. Dad's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday Dad for tomorrow. Big news in the greenhouse. I'll show you in a moment. But it's exciting and it's big. I'm happy. <laughs> I've just been tickling all my tomatoes outside. So they've all got jiggled about a little bit so that we can get the flower pollen dropping into the, you know, get them all fertilised. Then we'll get some tomatoes. I'm going to show you the ones that are growing in here as well. They're doing quite well. They're a bit, what's the word? Effaciated, cat faced. They aren't mine, they're interesting. <laughs> and they're tomatoes, and they're growing, and they're mine. I've got to tickle the tomatoes in here and see if we can get some of these going on. And I'm going to pick the cucumber today. It's going to be for lunch. Ooh, big day. So, uh, I've got a list, a long list. I've got a list of things to do today. I want to get some other weeds pressing sheet laid down outside. It's not going to be a very hot day, and it certainly isn't at the moment. Mind you, it is on the 8 o'clock. 8.30 in the morning. Sorry about that whining sound. It's the water board doing more work, drilling, doing something to the roof. So I suspect they'll be at it all day. Right, um, yes, so I was saying I want to get some more weed suppressing sheet laid down outside. It's not hot so it'll be fine doing that kind of job today. Um, I'm going to so show you the exciting things that have happened in here. I bet you can guess what it is really, can't you? <laughs> and I want to plant out all those um, lettuces that I've got hardening off outside. They're, they've been hardened off for ages, just the weather's been horrible so we haven't been able to get to do them. So today's the day for those. Um, I'm going to trim a few lower leaves off some of the tomato plants outside because they're trailing a bit on the ground and it has been quite wet so let's just nip those off and I must clean up the mess on that table at the end every time I go in here it looks at me it goes I'm messy clean me up I was watching Luke from MI Gardener last night realised I've been tickling my tomatoes all wrong so I'm going to do it the Luke way it's very precise <laughs> easy and if it means more tomatoes then it's worth 10 minutes a morning isn't it to tickle toms so I'm going to do that um, I will put a link for the video on tomato tickling <laughs> well increasing the amount of fruits from your tomatoes on Luke's site it's, it's very informative he's always really helpful if in doubt Luke will sort it out I've got to show you I can't wait any longer. Bear with me a sec. Ready for excitement? <laughs> it's exciting to me. Might not be to you. Are you ready? I'm going to just twirl you around so hold on to, each other. Hold on to your chairs for a minute. Ooh. I've only gone and got patty pan squash germination. Finally at last. And it is no warmer in this greenhouse than it was a couple of weeks ago when I sowed the others or even before that when I sowed the others we also have yard long bean germination these ones are the asparagus green and we've also got 
germination on the red ones as well. On the two plants at the moment, I can see the ground is starting to crack. So the others are coming up as well and bulge a little bit here and there. The mulcher wool pellets seems to have done the trick with my vulnerable crops in here. And I actually found the slug yesterday. I happened to notice when I was tending the tomatoes that um, one of the basil plants that I have planted at the base was nibbled. So I had a little rummage and there it was, nestling underneath a tomato leaf. Not anymore. Let's have a look. What have we got going down here? Turn in here again. We have got my healthiest looking melon is now coming nice and high which is very cool there's plenty of flowers on it this one at the back down here is also doing really well those yellow leaves are from ages ago but it's perked up now and i'm very glad to say the others around here are beginning to show a bit more signs of life as well that one there i thought was a goner but it has perked up now that is a kajari melon and there's another one down there, but that one looks like it's got a bit of nibbling on it. So we'll get the wool pellets out and we'll deal with that. I can't believe I missed those two actually, when I was doing wool pellets. Hmm, we'll do that today. And I didn't, oh, I, eh, these two down here are not looking good. Hmm. But not to worry, if they, don't, if they fail, I'll stick something else in in their place. Ho, 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 come back. That I'm going to pick. Now, bear with me. Okay, time to pick the first cucumber. <laughs> first cucumber. That's nice. Just the size it's supposed to be, apparently. Five to six inches. That's going to go on lunch today. But that is probably going to be our next one. And then there's some more growing down under here. I wonder if we've got any on this plant yet. Oh, some baby ones. Nothing big yet though. Hmm. Loads of flowers. Yeah, we've got some. They're coming. I think they need tying in a little bit. So I'm just going to quickly do that before I go outside and snip tomatoes. These red French beans have been climbing up the posts really well now. In fact, we've got to the top of this four foot cane here. So now I am stringing, I don't know if you can see it, stringing up and over the arches. So if I blind you, going past the sun. So that the beans now have a way of getting higher. It's not an easy job. It's quite demanding at getting up there to get these strings right over the top. But I'll get there. That one's a bit loose. Oh well. The beans will soon sort that out. But it'll be worth it because the beans love a place to climb, especially when they get going. There's white lady runner beans there, they're going to go nuts soon. In fact, they already are doing. <laughs> Better get some more strings up. I would say that that sunflower is certainly attracting plenty of attention from the bees. Lovely. As is, down at its base, the cosmos. How oh, lovely. Lots of nice buds waiting to open out on there. Beautiful flowers. Well, that's been a nice day out in the garden. I've done pretty much all day apart from a lunch break. I've got all the um, lettuces planted out. I've trimmed leaves off all the tomato plants, tied those in. I have tickled the tomatoes! 
See if we can get some more tomatoes farming. Oh, I have. What else did I do? Pulled up all the beetroot uh, turnips. I um, got the last one of them that was going to be any good out. The others had all gone to flower, so chicken food. So not wasted. I don't mind not wasted. I've had a nice little harvest. Tiny little harvest. One semi-blown cucumber. A handful of peas. Um, a couple of courgettes. The cucumber. And the turnip. And some red onion scapes. So they're going to make up dinner with some chicken for tea tonight. And what else did I do? Planted out a sunflower, one of the claret ones that I found. Don't know how I missed it the first time around, but that's in the squash bed now. I have tied up the peas a little bit more because they're kind of falling all over the place, so they're tied in a little bit better to their stakes now. I'm just going to rest my arm on the back of the chair. <laughs> oh, the big job for the, the day, which wasn't on my list. I've been tying in all the string on the bean arches. And that's looking mighty fine now. Let's see if we can show you. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. Up and up and up and over. And then the other side. So that this prolific amount of beans that I'm growing will have extra supports to grow up. Okay, beans are all doing really well, hiding in there behind the tomatoes. They're coming along nicely. Mm -hmm. They are in, considering that they are in between the tomatoes and the broad beans, those runner beans and, and the red beans at the end, the French beans and the cobra, are all doing really well. I'm really actually quite pleased. I didn't think they'd do it. Oh, I planted a cucumber outside. They mark it more and it says that they're good for growing outside. So there it is. And that will hopefully I've strung up above it. So I'll be able to train that up the strings. Fingers crossed anyway. <laughs> Look, things are all looking really good, aren't they? Some of them are quite a way up. They're cane, especially the red ones. The peas looking extremely beautiful. With the beautiful flowers on them. They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> and starting to pod up as well, some of them now, so that's nice. And the Charlie peas. I think if they get pollinated, oh, shall I keep the peas and use them as seed for next year? Are they too close to all the other peas? I think they probably are, aren't they? Look, here's our first Charlie pea pod. There it is. Ooh. Oh, and there's two more. Lovely. Not got any flowers on the alderman yet. Not a single one. Still climbing though, so we'll see. If I don't get any flowers and don't get any peas off it, Alderman will not be being grown in this garden again. But that one, that one definitely will be the Azita's Crumbeck Blau Shocker. <laughs> it's so beautiful. The petals turn purple, like blue as they get older. They seem to come through pink, like these and then turn blue. Maybe that's why they're called blue shocker. Blau shocker. Beautiful. Well, that is me signing off for today. I'm going to go now and do Cosmos and then come home and get the dinner ready. So gardening is done for today. I make a plan for tomorrow. But thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. So I'll see you next time. If you have or haven't already, It'd be great if you would like and subscribe. See you next time.